Alrighty guys, I'm Orthodon and we are back for Black Clover episode 30. So, last episode was a recap episode. I was, you know, sometimes I have people tell me when the recap episodes come up in some of these shows. But, uh, this show I didn't have anybody let me know, so I watched it. Um, apologies if that week was a little boring for you regulars that watch this show from me. But, uh, but yeah, this time we are moving into something, and I don't know what. So, <laughs> are we starting another arc? Is it another fun little, like, mixer-type filler episode? Um, or or what what's gonna happen? I don't know. But... I am looking forward to it nonetheless, so yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. Alright, so we are going to start the episode in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, now. I almost wasn't going to record this because there's thunderstorms before, but it seems like they stopped, so I don't have to worry about my power going out. Back to the normal opening. I forgot to talk about this opening was a little different. We got to see more of the fight during a recap episode, which was an interesting place to put it, um, where we got to see more of the fight between that wizard king and that big demon. Alrighty, where are we? Is this the sister complex guy? Yep. Maria. Oh. Oh my god. We haven't seen his magic, have we? We've only seen him obsess over his little sister. God damn it, this guy. What's his magic? I want to know it. Opening time? Yes. Birdie flying. I love when this show switches to black and white. I don't know why. It's such a simple thing. But even in the opening there, I like that. I think because there's not a lot of anime that I've watched that have done, like, the moving animation in black and white like it has done for Asta a couple times. I really like this song. I almost feel like I've heard it somewhere, or maybe it almost sounds like another song. Interesting. I feel like it has similarities to like a couple other songs, but I'm not a very like big music person, so I couldn't tell you like what songs they are. That was some good shit though, I liked it. Even though I've heard it before. <laughs> I know I've heard it before, don't worry. We're back in hey ha 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 ji. <gasps> More money. They're just turning all the food into potatoes. Oh, Yuno's first class. And it's only been two months. Okay, cool. No, he's third class. <laughs> Brats at the church. <laughs> nice. 
I love how that dude still doubts Asta even to this day. Golden Dawn headquarters. Ah. <laughs> what rank is close? I wonder. Money! Oh, Close is such a softie, even if he doesn't show it. <laughs> That's awesome. His glasses were sparkling with joy. <laughs> that was such a silly line, but I love it. Aw, oh, and you know how to smile. Got paid, so no work today. Last time they got paid, they just went shopping too, right? They just like always take a day off whenever they get paid. Time for second breakfast. Oh, I'm actually hungry. I'm gonna get a bowl of cereal after this. Could I have next year off until her next birthday? No. Maybe I'll attack it. That's a bigger no. <laughs> oh. They still find ways, like, it gets a little repetitive jumping through every character and seeing their little quirks. But every now and then they have, like, a little silly one that, that gets me. There was a couple this time. I was gonna say, Asta's gonna love... Whoa. She's making the food from Yuno's hometown because she loves Yuno. Just drink more wine, girl, and shut up. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. Are we gonna follow him getting a birthday gift for his sister? Uh oh. Oh. My stomach is actually growling from seeing all this food, too. <laughs> Evil be gone! <laughs> oh. Story wow. <laughs> Freaking Noel. <laughs> so how's Noel gonna get there? <laughs> okay, so I do want to know. Maybe she isn't going to get there this time. Watch, she's going to show up and we're just not going to know how she got there. I don't know why I laugh so much at this show. A lot of the jokes are so stupid, but stupid jokes kind of make me laugh. 
We are following that dude buying a gift for his sister, though. A little bit, anyway. What? A former convict? Wait, so when was the last time he saw his sister? Was it before he was in prison? So does that mean she's, like, a lot older now? Those plushies have a much different animation style on that shelf. What's up with that? All of them? This is why this guy loves him so much and calls him, like, Lord. He just comes here and buys all of it. Are we gonna find out something really sad where his, like, sister's dead or something? Oh no. Give me everything in the shop. Oh my god. So does he just save up for the year and then just spends it all <laughs> on his little sister? <laughs> all right halfway done already jeez why are these little fun episodes always the fastest it feels like there's no way that whole shop fit in those bags That still wasn't the whole shop. There's no way. <laughs> oh, no. Wait, so who is... Who is her in relation to him? <laughs> I trained hard, so you'll have to try harder than that. <laughs> oh, the sister lives at the church. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Asta, why are you antagonizing him? Oh my god. Oh no! <laughs> oh jeez. How did no one get there? How? <laughs> Damn it! She can't fly. Oh, she paid him. Okay. It explained it. That's too much! <laughs> Are we going to get to see his magic? Oh! Mirror magic. Wait, have we seen his mirror magic before?
What the heck? What is he reflecting in the mirror? Uh oh. Uh. She looks like she's seen some shit with that scar. Jesus. Jesus. Gangster hag. She didn't get her gifts. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> no well. Holy shit, Asta! Uh-oh. Who is that? I know what's gonna happen. The church is gonna get attacked, and Asta is gonna have to team up with Sister Complex guy, right? <laughs> Asta Freaking Noel's jealousy. <laughs> Holy crap. Oh my god. Holy crap, these kids! Uh, <laughs> what the hell? This episode is ridiculous. What are you doing, Noel? Snow. Uh oh. Who is this guy? Or girl? Hypnotizing the children? Is that what's happening? Is the hypnotism gonna work on Asta? That'd be so funny. Maybe not. <laughs> Baby. Go, go! Oh no, they're gonna be gone. Oh my god, it's this guy.
<laughs> well, Asta's awake now. <laughs> Kids say that stuff all the time, it's so true. Whoa! Real double. I will say I really like the fact that Asta pulled out his smaller sword because he was in a tighter space. I think that was, like, really, like, smart. Even it's, even though that's a really minor detail, I like that shit. Uh oh, all the kids are gone. Is this going to be an arc? This episode's almost over. This is what a hell of a start to an arc if it is. There's Marie. Who is this guy? Well, that's creepy as hell. And it's going to end, right? All right. <laughs> That was an interesting episode. So it seems like this is a start to a mini arc that might, like, it might just wrap up next episode, you know? Um, but if anything, I imagine it's only going to be a couple episodes. Maybe it'll be more. Maybe it'll somehow tie into the whole, like, overarching story. And this was just a really weird start to it. But I don't know. Anyway. Do, 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 do. I love this new outro. I I like the song more and I like the visuals more. Even though I still think the art is a little weird, the old outro, the one right before this one with like the really like vibrating screen or whatever, like made me sick half the time. I was not a fan. So, the song wasn't bad, but I I like this a lot better. Alright, it seems pretty short though, or maybe I just talk through it and that's why. Alrighty guys, that's the end of episode 30 though. Good stuff! Oh, that was a lot of fun. Uh, I I'm not gonna lie, I feel like, no offense to Boruto, right? But I feel like, for extra episodes go, like, I guess this turned into like a mini arc. But this reminds me a lot of like the Mixer episode and, and stuff like that. There's a lot of these small little episodes that I feel like they're just a lot more fun to me than what some of the Boruto ones do, because I think what's wrong is the Boruto ones, I feel like, are a lot more child-oriented, and then the these ones seem a lot more like just weird humor, you know, and like even some adult humor, like... Rebecca asking Asta to stay the night, and, I mean, obviously a kid might not know what they mean, you know, if a kid was watching this. I don't really think this is, like, a kid show either, just because of the fact that, um, the language that the sister lover was, uh, was using is obviously not great for kids, so clearly the show was not meant for kids anyway, but if it were, they didn't use any, like, explicit words, you know, like, stay the night, you know, 
you should jump him tonight, which, I mean, I guess a kid would be like, what does that mean, you know? But just the fact that that was brought up was hilarious, but I love how even though they constantly show, like, the quick shots of all the Black Bull members and their little, like, quirks, some of them get a little old, but some of them still make me laugh a little bit, so I, I like, I appreciate that they're able to do that, you know? Like, uh, Luck saying, ooh, I want to fight something, you know? Like, is this, is the city gonna get, is the capital gonna get attacked again? Maybe I should attack the capital. And then Yami just being like, definitely no. <laughs> I love that. That bit was funny. And, uh, what was the... What was the one... Oh, the... It made me laugh a little bit when the guy was like, can I have the whole year off till her next birthday? And he's just like... Yami's just like, no. I think it was mainly Yami's just like quick, like, no reaction was just great. I loved it. But, uh... But, yeah. I... I just... I had so much fun with this episode. Like, I don't know how much I have to talk about with it, but, um... But it just, it made me laugh in so many spots where, I don't know, like, I think sometimes the over-the-top nature just makes me smile, too. Like, I don't know, like, it's definitely over-the-top, it's cheesy, and it's weird when they were doing the whole, like, do you want to stay over tonight, Asta, you should jump on thing, and Noel just slowly, like, freaked out more and more, even though this is, like, the the tenth time we've seen Noel freaking out over, like, jealousy of someone, you know? Um, it, it still, like, got me in this episode, so that was pretty funny, but, but yeah, so we have this weird guy who is kidnapping, like, hypnotizing the kids, making them walk out in the snow randomly, and said they're gonna be his new friends, which is creepy, so I don't know what's gonna happen there, I, I mean, I obviously imagine that Asta is, Asta, Noel, and... <clears throat> Sister Complex guy, I can't remember his name. They're all gonna team up, and his name is like Gaust or something, right? Um, but I imagine they're all gonna team up to get, you know, Marie and Rebecca's kids back. And, and not Rebecca's kids, sorry, Rebecca's siblings. They're not her kids, they're her siblings. Um, but I imagine they're gonna do that. I imagine that's gonna make Rebecca fall even more head over heels for Asta for saving, you know, her siblings, and then Noelle's gonna be increasingly jealous, so that should be a fun little dynamic, but, but yeah, I'm, I'm just really enjoying all these extra episodes on top of the actual arcs in this show, so it, it blows me away because I, I've said this before, and I say this in a lot of my episodes, so I apologize for reiterating the same stuff, but when I first went into this show, I had the negative connotation of everyone talking about how much Asta yells and how annoying it is, but I got used to it so quickly, and, like, I went in with this, like, low expectation of this show. Like, I will be completely honest, when this show won the poll, I was like, great, you know, I have to watch this show. In, in a way, I was like that. There's another part of me that, like, I want to see what, like, makes it a long-running show, you know? Because a show has to be relatively successful for it to be long-running, you know, just to have that kind of funding. Um, so, I was I was a little bit on both sides, where I was like, I've heard bad things about this, oh boy. And then I was also like, I wonder what makes this, like, a successful long-running show, you know? So, and, uh, and I've been loving it. Like, I still think there's... There's key parts of Boruto for a long-running show that I'm currently watching, not talking about any long-running show ever, but just because I'm currently watching Boruto, so I, like, compare it to that. There's some key moments in Boruto that I like a lot more than anything in Black Clover, uh, and some animation moments that I feel like are done much better and stuff like that. But as for, like, the episode-to-episode -episode enjoyment, I think I'm liking Black Clover better, so... I don't usually like to, like, draw favorites and stuff like that. I do like both shows. I'm not saying I don't like Boruto, but, um, but yeah, I, I, I'm just really enjoying Black Clover, and I'm, I'm very happy that I'm enjoying it so much, but, but yeah, it was a fun episode, but I don't really think I have any more to talk about with it. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing what happens, if this is going to be a mini-arc, if it's going to tie into the main story at all, or whatnot, but...
but yeah, I think that's it from me, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and also check out my Patreon if you want access to the next episode or if you want to check out my Patreon exclusive shows where I'm watching Soul Eater and Violet Evergarden at the moment. So yeah, guys, thank you for watching and I'll see you in my future reactions. Bye-bye.